showtime. So if you're gonna go for stuff like that, you gotta know your percents, right? As far as yeah. knowing you gotta go for an up air there. Or a back air. So the down air was not wrong at all. You, you absolutely had me, right? But you wanna make sure you're not dropping those confirms. Because up smash would have been like something you wanna go for like 60 or 70 maybe. And I, after that down air, I think I was over 90. So actually even lower than that for the up smash. You go, go for like 50. Yeah. That's bad. So we talked a little bit at the end, or at the beginning, I mean. But one thing I can say for sure is if a game actually goes to time, that's totally fine. There's no reason why you oh, have absolutely. to destroy the other person, right? Um, yeah. and I will say, this is what this is what's gonna happen to you when you're you're having that shift from being the less the lesser of two players, like when you're saying playing competitively, lesser of two players to going even as far as skill. When you're even as far as skill, more often than not you're going to go to time, right? Or it's going to be a last hit situation. If you are substantially worse, you just get destroyed fast. If you're substantially better, you just destroy them fast, right? So when that when yeah. that transition's happening, that's where it's gonna be like, okay, last hit situation and anybody could win. Or last hit situation for time and there's like 5% between us and anybody could win, right? So yeah. if those situations do happen in tournament, don't be like, wow, this is super lame. It's like, this is like, this is me getting no, better, I'm here. right? Yeah. This is you putting up an actual fight, not just getting run over, right? If you're if you're always a person that's getting run over, then so all of a sudden you're going to time. It's like I'm actually improving. Right. I'm already starting to feel like I'm doing a bit better in this matchup, but mm -hmm. I still hate it. I still hate this bitch. Oh yeah. I don't think the match is bad for Joker. I don't like. I don't think like Leo and Spargo were like Aegis beats beats Joker. I mm -hmm. I think it, I, I'm with Mage. I think it's even. I have to play better. I'd say you could try to take advantage of getting me off stage a bit more and then going for your guns or going for Rebel's Guard. Just really make it a super huge priority to make sure you're getting a counter or Rebel's Guard off stage as much as you can. If not a downer, if you don't have uh, your counter, right? Right. Okay. That's a counter. Another counter. And that's it. I'm just dead. I have no jump. All right, it might feel corny or almost too easy, but it's like that's literally it. No one nah, said the game has a nah, guard, right? Care, I don't, I yeah. don't care. <laughs> you gotta do it, bro. Same thing with Wolf. I don't care. Hundred percent. If she dies, good. She deserves it. <laughs> okay, it's right there too. It's she... like, yeah, no. <laughs> you, you don't have to deal with any it's of like... that. It's like, nah, I'm just gonna get out of the corner here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm like, I'm just gonna attack on this percent. Yep. The idea, realistically, is if you can strong arm me into switching off of Pyra because I can't just get a kill here. I have to earn some sort of advantage state to then get you off stage and then try and get uh, a kill with Pyra from a ledge trap or a juggle situation or something, right? Sure. I fucked up. <laughs> how am I not dead? Oh, wait, here my cows. I'm like, how am I not dead? <laughs> Back throw. What the hell? I don't know how both I of us just did it. Oh, I hate everything. You know, I'd rather that happen than me dying. Yeah, well, I got two hundred. You can't be mad at that, right? I really can't. No. Hmm. That's one of those things. Actually, like, or right, go ahead. I was not in. I was. I wasn't interacting with you at all. I was like. Do whatever you want. I'm, I'm winning. <laughs> I was going to say, too, when you're at that percent, that's basically the best time to go crazy and say, if I can just get a cheesy win or a cheesy kill at 200, like, if I die, who cares? But right? if you can F smash me at 80 and I just die, then sure. But if you die because you were wrong, it's like, well, I'm at 200. I, I don't care. Uh -oh. Not my R going away. So I'll say one thing I did there. I call it stemming, 
which is when I try and catch somebody leading the wrong direction just to create some space. That's how I got out of the corner without trying to hit you, right? I dumped over here, then I air dodge back, then I drift the other way, and I catch you going the wrong direction, and I get some space, right? And it's not necessarily hard to do. It's just knowing that you can go for like a double cross up with your air dodge and your double jump, sometimes even a triple cross up with your air drift if you're high enough. And if you catch somebody like dash grabbing or dash attacking the wrong direction, then by all means, you can catch some space and just try to get back down to the ground versus trying to do like a long arcing double jump air dodge all in the same direction. I'm... Jeez, I'm dead. I'm not dead. I'm dead. Good stuff. Good catch. He's out here. But yeah, when you stick to the plan and you pay attention to these habits as far as like catching you for jumping and stuff like that. And here's the thing too, bro. I promise you, if anybody is even remotely good at your local, and I know you do have good players there, they're catching this stuff too, right? Yeah. They're 100% catching this stuff too. So I was like, oh, he's rolling? This is happening. Oh, you're jumping? Now I'm going to do this. So this is where you want to try and keep somebody honest. Because if you're, let's say, jumping at a shield a lot, and I start to go for that up air uh, to try and catch your jump, eventually I'm just going to go for an up air and you're still on the ground and you up smash me or you up air me because you jump after me. What the hell? Damn. Oh, the 83. Good catch. I have rage! <laughs> yeah, his S smash is uh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll do one yeah. more game and then we'll call it. I will give you sure. the final boss. The Falco? Yep. Gotta do it. Laser. The platforms, I'm bad. It's okay though. Okay. Okay. Not bad. I just killed myself. Yep, I got wild, bro. <laughs> I, I try to like. It was all worth the bait. Wait for the firefox to hit me so I can recover, but uh. Recovery, he's out here. Could have killed me. Could have dropped down, countered. Um, could also have gone for like a back air or an up air, or sorry, down air as well. Good recovery, he's out here. Something like that. Oh, not like that though. I wanted the downer. <laughs> so, with that downer, you gotta make sure you land on stage. Right? It's like a T, uh, T spike, if you know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Talk. It's not really a Roy thing. It's like. A link slash cloud thing, but still, it's just since he has so much lag on his down air, just so you don't have that situation happen. Oh, okay, this is fine. Oh, okay, this is sure. I di down. I should di away. It's okay. Down, uh, yeah, it's down and away for buckle yeah. up for whatever. Okay, we're jabbing, we're jabbing. Ah, get the fuck out of me. Get out of my face. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh shit. Not the lag. Not the laser. I'm dead. Not dead? Is that the right play the counter? Um, you could have maybe gone for back air there. Counter's not wrong. I'm just at kind of low percent. So, you got you hit me, but like I'm not going to die from that. At this percent, you probably would have been able to make it back to the ledge at the same time as me. But at a higher percent, I just should have died. You can straight up die. I could die right now. I dropped shield. Oh, that's supposed to be the other way. Oh, okay. I missed. Yo. They're both at death percent, but mostly me. Landing fair. I did it. I got that foot. <laughs> oh, uh. man. I wish people did that more. I need to do that more soon. <laughs>
uh as Those joker yeah with joker absolutely with with roy it's kind of like oh hell nah. no <laughs> because if i missed that from down there i could have still recovered just fine and i'm so low that if you swung on me you would have killed yourself right unless somehow yeah. i got behind you you got a back air and i die before you hit the bottom blast zone because i got hit off like from the side then sure but that would have been like the riskiest thing in the entire world to go for is there uh overall I thoughts with the characters i like the roy because i'm like a joker i am do i'm i am utilizing downer was a tech as a tech chase option yeah i saw that a couple times um i definitely do like the roy i like the movement i feel like uh just like with any other character i feel like you're doing some decent confirms but um the bread and butters at lower percent could be a little bit more optimized if you feel like jab back air something that you want to work on a little bit more then by all means and what i mean by bread and butters i don't mean like nair one type stuff i mean just literally getting like nair into nair into nair or fair into fair into fair just like simple yeah, like stuff right percent. yeah like early early percent. Percent. yeah yeah or if it's like the getting like nair one into grab and stuff like that or nair like landing nair into grab i guess landing there too at like zero stuff like that just so you have some more a couple more mixes but also just so that when you're getting your hits uh he does he does crazy damage as it is so you don't have to really do too much but the fact that you can still soak up a little bit more uh damage just out of each uh interaction then why not right 